Good morning. This is an exciting time for us here at Hunarts. We just got our package of Ikat scarves from Margolin, Uzbekistan. This is particularly exciting because it's the first package we've received from Central Asia since the pandemic started. So I thought I would open it up and show you in person what we got. So I'm opening it up. Uh, one thing that's interesting about uh, working with Central Asia is shipping is always a challenge. Normally when we work with Uzbekistan, we uh, get our products via DHL, but this was a small order given that we're not selling very much right now because everybody's on lockdown. So we're going with Federal Express instead of DHL, which makes the shipping a little bit more expensive. Um, so that a little challenging to get it open without we cutting it open without cutting the silk inside. But here we go. We ordered just one or two of each of these patterns, and it'll take us a while to get them up on the website, but that makes it all the more unique to be able to get access to these uh, special patterns and scarves from Margolin, Uzbekistan, from our, our artisan partners at Ikat Uz craft studio in Margolin, Uzbekistan, which is the center of Ikat weaving in Central Asia. And here we go, it's coming out. We have, here we go, we have all in this one lovely package. So I will open it up and show you each scarf individually. Here we go, here we go. Okay, here is our turquoise and blue gem. This one is called Adras, which means it's 50% cotton, 50% silk. You can see the, the beautiful pattern. And each of these scarves is finished with this little short self fringe at the end. They're all 79 inches long, which makes them about, which makes them a, a perfect scarf length like this. Same length as I'm wearing right now. This is a, from an earlier order that I appropriated for myself. This particular scarf um, looks like it might be a little bit narrower. Each of these is uh, hand woven on a pedal operated loom. They're all narrow looms and because they work uh, with different masters and different families, each loom um, is created, is built at its own width. So some are a little narrower, some are a little wider, but they're all narrow compared to the fabric widths we'll see in the US. And that's because they're woven by hand on these narrow pedal looms and it's hard to manage a wide loom with hand weaving. So there's blue and turquoise. Black and white is always a perennial favorite. Here's one. This is a pattern we haven't seen before, but very interesting. And we got, we have one of these blue and turquoise. We have two of the black and white. Here we go. Oh, here's a fuchsia and gold. This is very lovely. Has hearts in the pattern there. You can see it would make a perfect late 
uh, Mother's Day gift or a graduation gift for one of those lovely graduates. And here we have a different black and white pattern. This is one that we've, we've had before that's been very popular. This is a, a very traditional looking pattern, very dramatic. And when it's, when it's uh, folded up, it, it provides this wonderful, interesting pattern, but it's not quite, none of them are overpowering when folded up and worn as a scarf. So we have two of those, black and white. Oh, this is one. This is a brand new, this one is all silk. Shoyi, as they say in Uzbek. This one is very pretty, has lots of, lots of colors, a basic navy blue, but with pink and some gold and some yellow. Yellow is actually the color of royalty in Central Asia. So you'll see in traditional patterns a lot of that yellow and gold color. So we have, looks like we have one of those. And here's a very traditional bright color, brightly colored scarf. This one is, has red and blue and yellow, very energetic. This can certainly brighten up your day uh, and brighten up any kind of outfit with it. You could wear it with red, with white, with blue, with yellow. Very interesting, very uh, traditional, brightly colored scarf. We have one of those. And, oh, look, we have another of the golden fuchsia for the the lovers of pink in the world. You can see, and they're, they're reversible. Uh, the, the finish, the sheen is a little different. Here you can see on this side, um, and it's just a little, a little flatter without that um, iridescent sheen on the other side. Okay, so that means we have two of those. Oh, here's another one of the of the bright red, white, and red, white, blue, and yellow. So we have, oh, looks like we've got three of those. Hmm, didn't know I was getting three of those. I thought I was only getting two. Okay. And for the more subtle, here's another all silk red, white, and black uh, with strong geometric patterns. Very, very subtle for somebody who wants just a little bit of color. We have, looks like we have one of those. This one again is all silk. Here we have a large blue polka dot on a on a pale gold very very simple subtle but elegant and here's the perfect complement for those who love everything pink it's a it's a very traditional pattern, uh, but this lovely pink color. And we only got one of these because they were down to their very last uh, bit of this fabric. So we were only able to get one of these for now. Here's another pink and blue. Very Dramatic, geometric, but but small, not overpowering. You can see has a nice uh, has a nice uh, pattern repeat in smaller patterns. 
we have one of those. Oh, we're getting down towards the bottom. Oh, this one. I'm a blue fan. I love my blue jeans. I love my blues. So this is, is a perfect uh, complement for the person who loves blue. Nice, big, dramatic patterns, but limited to the cream and, and blue. So if, you, if you're not somebody who wants too many colors, this is perfect. And what do we have here? Okay, we have, ah, uh, here's another one that is very traditional with a lot of colors, adds a lot of energy to any kind of plain outfit. Very dramatic. Uh, it has, let's see, we have red, green, brown, cream, blue, and yellow. So it, it will go with a lot of things, really perk any kind of outfit up with just this, this nice accent. And we have two of those. And our last two are especially for our New Mexico community because New Mexico is the land of turquoise. This was one of our most popular scarves last year. So we were able to get a couple more, excited to get a couple more. And those of you who love turquoise, this is the one for you. And we have two of, two of these. So um, because we had to use FedEx ship it, shipment, and it was a small shipment, our, our per scarf shipping costs are a little higher than usual. So our prices uh, on this shipment are a little bit higher than the $45 that we normally sell our scarves for, our recut scarves. These will be $49.99 on our website when they're available. Uh, or if you live in the Albuquerque area, I can hand deliver uh, curbside delivery uh, during the pandemic uh, anywhere in the Northeast Heights, or we can arrange another pickup spot somewhere in the, no uh, the Northeast Heights. If you saw something that caught your eye and you'd like to snap it up, because as you saw, there's only one uh, or two, or in one case, three scarves in the same pattern. They will go quickly. Um, if, you, if you see something, just uh, email me or text me or instant message me on our Facebook page, and I will get, get together with you, and we will get it to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for joining us in this uh, Christmas in May <laughs> experience. And we'll look forward to seeing you again next time.